guys today we're going to be doing a video using our silhouette and as you can see I have already prepared what I'm doing on the silhouette but I thought I'd just give a quick run through of what we've done I'm doing a wedding card and I've been commissioned to do wedding invitations for a customer and I'm designing the wedding invitations using my silhouette studio now what I've got in front of me is a design that was on the silhouette store however I have played around with it so let me show you the original first of all right so now this is the um, original for the card part so let's click on that so you can see so as you can see it comes up with four elements which let's just separate them so there's four separate cards for each for this actual design now I wanted to make a card that folded in half whereas this is just like um, an individual square so what I did was this so let's, okay so I took this one here and I went into object rotate rotate it to 180 degrees so that completely flips it all the way around and then using my shift key I selected the second image on the page and then I go to my align window on the home key here so we go to align and then I want to align it center on the horizontal so that's from side to side I want it aligned center so then it just completely lines up the two sides that will happen because they're both the same size aligning its center will align it up completely correctly both sides right. ungroup and then just select the top one and now move it down then select the second image as well just use your shift um, key and click on each image individually or just draw a box around both and then weld and there we go so now our image is welded together so I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit I need it to be um, 8 inches because I want it to be a 4 inch card so again we're going to go to our home window and we're going to do scale and I'm going to do the height at 8 inches I'm going to lock the ratio there we go and then I'm going to draw a line one, and we're going to draw it from left to right like so and then I'm going to get my line style and I'm going to make it dash but I haven't selected it so let's do that again there we go so we've now selected it to a dashed line and then I'm going to just make that smaller don't forget when you do the dash lines that's going to be your um, your fold line your score line as it were that you don't want it to go right to the edges because you don't want it to cut the edge pieces here so you need to make sure that you just pop it in the middle so the first score line is a little bit in each side little dash line so now we need to put this in the center of our main image so let's click on that one shift key click on the other one so we've clicked both of them and then we're going to go to our align window again and then we're going to align it vertically in the middle so that will automatically put that in the middle we don't have to work out where the fold point is the half point is it does it so that's what we did on the first one so I've managed to get two on my A4 piece of paper plus I took just the individual squares not as a card and I made them very tiny just two and a point four inches and I did two of those on and those are going to be my RSVP I then using Lucinda calligraphy typed the letters out so let's go again to our blank one and I'm going to type my text out and what I need to do is go to have this highlighted so the text is is highlighted and then I need to adjust the size but I won't do that at the moment then we've got character spacing and line spacing now line spacing only applies if you've got several lines we want character spacing so we want to close these up so we're going to take it down 
until they're touching a little. So then I'm going to ungroup it. And then I'm going to group the two end letters. So I'm going to use my shift key. And I'm going to click on both of them. And then I'm just going to use my arrow keys. And I'm going to pop that along. So basically you carry on fiddling around and it takes some time fiddling and then you select it all, group and weld it. But as you can see here, we've got the wedding invitation and I welded it top and bottom here. And I've also welded the words together and then I've got my RSVP. So now we go to the next section, which is the wrap. And what I wanted was like a vellum wrap to go around my card. So this was a really simple one, this one, because it literally comes like that. So again, let's just go into our library. And as you can see, I've got a fancy wrap here, just on this one here. And literally I put that in and it is as it is. I didn't do anything with it other than rotate it so that I could fit two on my A4 sheet. I then added a couple of lines just using this one up here because I wanted some um, strips of the vellum to make like belly bands around the wrap. Okay so this particular one is at eight inches because this is the centerpiece which is four inches so because it's a square whatever size, size your card is that you're doing just double the wrap size. Now my whole card was determined by my wrap because I wanted to make the most efficient use of my paper so this was the maximum size that I could do on an A4 piece of paper for the wrap so that determined that my card had to be four inches. Okay so let's go off to the silhouette. Okay so here is the paper that I'm intending to use. The first piece is beautiful pearlescent vellum I can just see how lovely that looks. So it's quite a nice weight to it. Then I've got the Centura Pearl Snow White cardstock by uh, Crafters Companion. And again, you've got that lovely sheen on it. So that's going to be my card base. And then this piece is actually not for the silhouette. It's what I'm going to print on. And it's just um, a lovely, super smooth uh, decoupage. And then I'm going to put this through my printer and I'm going to, it's got to go through the laser printer and then I'm going to use my foiling machine to silver foil or gold foil depending on my choice. So next we need to load our silhouette, centre silhouette and off it goes. So let's get over to that. Okay, so we've loaded our mat. I'm now sending this to the silhouette cut page. And fingers crossed. Okay, so here's the. So that looks really nice. So that's going to be my RSVP card, literally just like that. And then we'll put um, a little piece of paper on the back with the actual information on. That's the plan, anyway. And then here's the actual wedding invite. Again, just using the tool, because of the detail and it being quite a new mat, I don't want to risk doing anything, but I shouldn't. So then we've got our little score marks down the centre there. So that's looking really nice, really. And now, just getting my hook. And very carefully pulling up my letters and there we go and okay so there's the RSVP so that's come up really nicely pleased with that so pop that down get the second one well actually before I get the second one I'm dying to see the wedding invitation so let's pop this one up and there is the wedding invitation so I'm pleased with that as well Okay, so now I'm going to peel the others off and we'll try and start putting this sample together. Okay. okay, so this one is going on this card and as you can see what will happen is it kind of almost looks like 
embossing because it's the same colour on there. It gives a really nice effect overall. And then we've got the little RSVP just to go on this single card. Okay, so we'll sort those out in a minute because I don't want to position the um, wedding invitation uh, sentiment cut out that we've just done until I've done the next section of the card so we're going to put those to one side and we're going to cut out our next thing, part on our silhouette and that is going to be using this beautiful vellum okay so that's cut that all out and you can just about see it so let's now peel this off now there we go pretty beautiful and it's got the fold lines here as well for us so that's really so good. back at the table we've done our foiling so fingers crossed it's all worked okay you can always put it through again so it's not like the end of the world if there's a little bit missing okay Ooh, I've got a bit of sticky on my um, on my foil so it was sticking to there so there we go look you can just see there we go it's beautifully foiled and the same up here so it makes a really lovely lovely finish okay so that's all our elements now done so we're going to get everything put together okay so now I'm going to start putting my card together so the first thing I want to do is cut out my um, insert and also my little panel here that's for my RSVP. So that's our insert prepared. Now what I do want to make sure is that this pattern lines up. Actually it doesn't matter so much but because of course I'm putting my lining in but okay I think that's a really cute little card. Okay, so I want that on there. Now again when I'm doing this in bulk, I would put these through my Xyron sticker maker and then you can put quite a few through and it would be a lot easier. But for the purpose of today, I'm actually going to put this on using my uh, Zig. However, I don't want to do that quite yet because I need to put my ribbon around. Okay. So what I'm wanting to do is put this on and use one of these lovely buckles from uh, Hazel's Crafts that I'm thinking with the heart shape and it would be really nice to have the oval so I'm going to pick out this so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that buckle on there with the ribbon through and on the back I'm just going to have it flat the ribbon so we need to first of all thread my ribbon through my buckle There doesn't seem to be a side, so that's fine. Okay. So you can see. And again, that's just quite simple to do. It adds just that little bit of something. A little bit of sparkle. Okay, so we're going to need to... What I want to do is put um, adhesive on the front here as a line so that it sticks down nice and... Oops. and as well I want to put it on the back it's going to stick to my table a little bit now but there's nothing I can do about that oh gosh stuck a bit stronger than I expected okay so then we're going to position my buckle card up and turn over and then put my ribbon down on the inside and turn that 
there will be fine. So a nice straight line. And then take the other part. I just need to adjust that slightly. So, and then take this other part and then take it up to the point and just slightly overlap and again cut it nice and neat because we want that's not going to show very much because of our insert but it might show a little bit so it's make sure it's nice and neat. and then using a little glue runner I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive just a little bit of adhesive on there and then if it does make it a bit at the edge, just snip that off again, and then you see it's it's quite neat at the back, even though you've got that line, it doesn't look too bad. It looks worse in, in the camera than it does by eye because the light's catching all the bumps. And then we've got a lovely buckle and ribbon on the front. So next we want to put our wedding invitation. On. So let's get a bit of scrap and then our little zig pen, which to be honest I really could do with a new one. And then just and then making sure this is nice and straight. I'm just going to turn it towards me because I can't see. Fingers a bit sticky, so and again, you see, if I was using my um, Xyron, it would be a lot simpler to stick down, there wouldn't be any of this sticky wet glue. And then, what I tend to do is I take my piece of paper. And then I just use that and rub over the top because if you do it with your hand, you catch it and you can rub it and knock it off. But if you do it with a piece of card or a piece of paper, one, it absorbs any excess glue, usually, if you're lucky. And two, you're not going to catch any of it. You're just going to be pressing it all down nice and flat. Don't leave it too long, like I've done in the past, because then if you're not careful, your actual piece of paper then sticks to your thing that you're trying to stick down. So that's the front of the card. Now, I want to leave it quite simple like this. Um, I think we could add a few little gems or extra gems or something like that if, if the necessary. But at the moment, I'm going to leave that well alone. So now I need my insert. And that's going to sit in like so. But no, I think, I think I like that as it is because the outside of the card is going to be quite elaborate. So now let's get on to that part of it. So now we need to score or carefully fold actually on the line. So there are score marks. So if you're very careful, you can just follow those. Okay. So as you can see, that looks so pretty with the lovely lace so it's going to make a really nice little wrap hopefully fingers crossed that it actually fits <laughs> that's the next trick isn't it making sure it fits okay so that looks good i'm now thinking because i found this lovely tool that i might just tie it with the tool and then just put some adhesive at the back here to put the tool around and then tie like a knot or a bow rather okay so that's the invitation part done so now we just need to do the RSVP so we'll put that to one side 
then take our RSVP card and again we're going to just attach this using our glue gel okay I think that just looks really effective and then on the back here we're going to use our little message that just sticks down like so so we're just going to use adhesive onto here rather than here so we don't get it through the holes there we go so that's just so that it can fill it in and again it's foiled to say that they accept or not and then there'll be an envelope with a return address on it of course and I think on this one we need to put maybe a few gems just to bling it up a little bit okay so I've got just a pack of rhinestones and we've got some little heart gems but I'm actually going to use this round ones I think because if I put the heart ones on and then I can't find them again that would be very disappointing <laughs> so that's our SVP card and that will go with a little envelope just at the back and then all in one um, hopefully one five inch envelope and this will flatten down quite not too bad so it shouldn't be too thick but if that's too fat for what she wants then we can always change that for a different type of ribbon okay I just did a quick um, second belly band design and I just did the same belly band exactly the same but I put a little butterfly on instead of the bow so we've got the two now just as a different choice Okay, so that's the cards made. I hope you've enjoyed watching this with me. Do be sure to go across to the blog post that goes with this card because the finished invitations were completely different to what we've got here. And I've got pictures and photographs of that and some other samples that I made as well. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Do leave comments and I'll see you again soon. Bye.